I am looking schlubby. <laughs> I haven't washed my hair in like five or six days. It's been in this braid since Saturday. It is now Wednesday. <laughs> if I had my own perfume line, it would be called Essence of Schlub. Schlub. Let me tell you, I had every intention of um, making something this week. I got all my materials and then <laughs> both my cramps and the humidity really said, <laughs> You thought. I'm just gonna push that to next week. So yes, we will be making something fun next week. But it is September this week, which kind of crept up on me. I think it would be fun to try to go back to red hair. It's inching closer to crunchy, spicy leaf time. And I wanna have hair that matches. I want to be what I am inside, which is a big pumpkin. <laughs> This is gonna be a multi-step process, and so I figured we would take the next couple days to try to go back to it. And chat about things that have been happening lately. I feel like I'm pretty far behind on updating all of you. Let's have some nice, cozy fun. I hate having to state that I'm not um, a hair professional, because I think it's quite obvious that I'm not. Hairstylists and hair colorists. <clears throat> Shield your eyes! Because this is gonna be a wild ride. I give you the permission to yell at me in the comments if I'm doing something stupid because this process is f around and find out. I purchased a color remover or like lifter, dye lifter on the internet and it finally came in. It is here. I mean, should I be going to a salon for this? Maybe, but I'm not gonna. So we're gonna give this a shot. So obviously this is step one, is lifting as much of this brown as I can out of my hair. Um, and then we will go in later and do some henna, which we're gonna do test strips, so don't worry. And the henna that I use does not contain any metallic salts, so it should be fine mixing with hair dye. I've done it five trillion times, so don't worry. So yeah, we're gonna do a test strip of this color lifter and see if it works. And I am stubbornly drinking hot coffee because I refuse to believe that it's 87 degrees out right now and I just want to be cozy. Oh my, that's a lot of bottles. Number one, I like when they have numbers on them, that's easy. Part two, conditioning catalyst. Band name called it. Follow detailed instructions provided inside box. Okay. Ensure hair is clean and dry. Oh. It's dry. <laughs> Wearing gloves and using a tint brush, apply quickly and evenly to hair. Let's just pretend that I do have a hair dye brush and I'm not going to be using my fingers. Let's give it a shot. We are going to go full Narcissus Malfoy right now. Oh, I'm scared. This reminds me of when I went brunette in high school and immediately regretted it. Uh, oh, eh. whoa, oh. That was another at-home dye job and I went from bleach blonde to dark brown. Needless to say, it was not the most even of jobs and from what I heard, the back of my head looked like a calico cat. I used about seven applications of color oops, which is still around apparently, but I'm assuming back in 2006 or seven when I used it, probably was not up to spec, but my hair didn't fall out. So I think we'll be okay this time. Oh, it smells bad. It smells bad. All right, well now that I look like a Final Fantasy character. All right, see you in 20 minutes. Best I've ever looked. Wash these strands out. I don't really think it did much. That did nothing. I mean, my hair didn't fall out. And I can see it's like a tiny bit lighter. So we're just gonna go for the full, full experience here. <laughs> Do my whole head. Honestly, I'd even be fine at the end of this that it's just like a really warm chocolatey brown versus like this dark color because then you can just take steps to go back to red. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Feels like I'm mixing like resin or something. Oh god, what am I putting in my hair? <laughs> Don't have a hair dye brush? 
May I introduce a compact version? May also be used for crafts and things. No. We're going hands. Who needs a brush? Not me. You know, life is just so much more interesting when you don't really know what you're doing. A little bit of risk factor in everything that you do. That's how I live my life. There's adrenaline seekers and then there's me. You can keep your cliff diving. I've got mysterious hair color lifters. That's my drug. Get out. It's not your turn yet. You know, my mom is a hair dryer. My mom is a hair dryer. That's how I rebel. Whatever, mom. I'll do it myself. I know. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with dark hair and it definitely won't be the last time that I have dark hair, I don't think. If this is easy enough and I don't absolutely murder my hair, I would love to just like switch back and forth every now and then, obviously giving my hair enough time to like reset and relax. My problem is that I tend to like really completely opposite things. I almost can't really compare having my red hair versus the dark and like which I like better because I think they're both, did I just say I think? I think the differences are too big. They give off such different vibes that it's hard for me to compare which one I like more. I'll probably keep the red for a decent amount of time and then um, I won't change it again until maybe I have like a mental breakdown, you know? And I just, I need to be in control of something. That's generally how it goes, you know. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna go completely red with this. That seems too easy. My guesstimate is that the end of this will be like a little bit, maybe like Evie hair where it's like a lighter brown. I mean, without bleaching or anything, I had a feeling it was gonna be a little tricky to go back to like a bright red. Whoa, so slippery. Oh my God. You know, I had planned to talk about like life stuff, but maybe we'll do that while I'm doing henna because this is, this is taking up all of my brain cells currently. Now it says to use a plastic processing cap. I don't know what that is. Wrap my head in plastic wrap. And then we wait 20 minutes and wash it out. All right, team. Break. It's time to wash this all out, which is good because ooh wee. <laughs> I look and smell like something that's lived in your refrigerator drawers for six months. But it looks like it worked. Oh my god, my roots are gonna be so blonde. Okay, this is an adventure. All right, let's give it a go. You ready? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I don't even know what I look like right now. Maybe like Hermione? It's Leviosa. You can tell how much my hair has grown since I stopped using henna. From here up, it really took the color lifter easily. And it's really light up here. And then obviously, it's still a tiny bit wet, but obviously down here, it's a little bit darker. I could theoretically, it says in the instructions, I could do the color lifter as much as three times. This is a fine shade for henna. It is like a tiny bit dark, but I I think that henna will lighten it up. And if not, I am totally okay with having a brighter red seep down into maybe like a deeper, darker red. That worked better than I thought it would, which is pretty sweet. Now that I'm done with that, I am going to run to the store to get a few more things I need to do henna. I like to mix mine with a little bit of yogurt and some lemon juice. I am just making my house a plethora of pungent scents today. That's weird. Let's do that. <sighs> It's so f***ing hot. <coughs> Why? Hello and welcome to Let's Make That Sludge. Wooden bowl. The dried out sludge. Pour it in the bowl. This is going to smell like a bunch of crushed up caterpillars. So if it's stinky, you know it's good. I do have a whole video on how I do my hair with henna. If you're curious about what I'm doing, it goes into a little bit more depth than that. Some yogurt, sploosh it in there, gloop it. Come on, baby. This just helps me get sort of the consistency of conditioner so it's a little easier to then gloop onto your hair. And then I'm gonna add some warm water, pouring in a little by little to make sure I get the right consistency. Isn't that lovely? Oops. It just sounds so nice. 
And then I'm gonna throw a little bit of lemon juice in there. I don't think this is necessary, but I've heard that it helps it be a little more potent. Dries your hair out a little more than not using it, so just something to be aware of. Sort of the right, ew. Consistency, I'm gonna let it sit a little bit so that it, it's a little bit less runny because that's gonna drip all over my bathroom floor. Mmm. I definitely made it a little too soupy this time. Good soup. There goes nothing. How are you all? I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like time has been going by freaking hyper speed. I just feel like I haven't been able to stop and catch my breath. Even when I take a few days, Wednesday now, I had yesterday and Monday, and I feel like I didn't. I mean, I got a lot of progress done on the barn, which is really fun. Hung some shelves, and by we, I mean Nicholas. <laughs> a mirror that I've been wanting to put up forever. Put some of my trunks, lugged them up from the basement. <laughs> It's very slowly starting to become an actual space, which is nice. I just feel like I have all these grand plans and grand schemes for not only just the barn, but my whole house. And just not enough time to accomplish those grand plans. Cause Smash Mouth was not kidding when they said, the years stop coming and they don't stop coming. It took me 30 years on this earth to realize what prophetic words those were, but it's so true. The years do come and don't stop coming. <sighs> I don't know. I'm hoping by the time I sit and process what year it is and what month it is, hopefully that'll be around Halloween time so I can have some time to really enjoy it in the new house and decorate. <laughs> we were moving last Halloween and so I didn't get to put up any decorations. We were selling the house and having open houses, so we really couldn't put like any of our personal stuff anywhere. And it was a huge pain in the ass and a wicked buzzkill. But now that we're here, I'm hopeful I can go crazy really bad at putting up decorations. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I guess I'm just lazy. Oh, it's just so much effort putting up decorations and then you have to take them all down. Ah, set aside a day to do that. I need it. I need it. It also doesn't help that my body does not know how to relax. Even if I have a day off, I am almost always doing something to keep myself busy. My body does not know how to just sit and do nothing. That is a foreign concept to my brain. Something that I deem like productive. So that's kind of what I, why I've been working on the barn. And I've also been working on a lot of Maxine stuff, trying to get a head start on that because September and October are already starting to be super crazy busy for me. Almost every single weekend is already booked, which is nuts and a little disconcerting. So I'm trying to get things pre-made in September. If I say that every single gosh darn ding dang it year, do I ever do that? In case you have no idea what I'm talking about, every October I've been doing 13 days of Maxoween. Yes, I know it's a stupid name. I don't want to hear it. 13 looks during October, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays in October. Usually over on Instagram. Some of them make their way over on the channel if I decide to make a video about a certain look. So yeah, basically every free moment I have lately has been going to that because, you know, I deem that productive. In order to fully turn off your brain, I feel like you gotta do something unproductive for a while, but I just, I physically can't. I'll get a good like 20 minutes of sitting around done and then I'm like, mm, what else? That's on me. I'm gonna start doing autumny goodness even though it's still moist outside. <laughs> that won't stop me. My plan is to kind of, September will be general autumn time stuff. October will be more focused on like the spooky, spooky, ooky Halloween stuff. And my body is ready. <laughs> All right, now that I am looking like Link from Encino Man. I have and will continue making that joke every time I put henna in my hair. You can't tell me what to do because you're not my real dad. Having long hair makes everything difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. <laughs> like guacamole. It is not going anywhere. And then I will probably wrap my head in plastic wrap again. Look like I just crawled out of the swamp. 
And then, my friends, we have to wait four plus hours. I have dinner with my parents tonight. Guess what I'll be donning? A hairnet. <laughs> and looking really good. Then I will check in with the results. I can't hit the stop button or do anything. So, editing Rachel, help me out. Clip ending now. That's like my hair. Are you ready to be underwhelmed? The henna did not work. Mm. <laughs> yep, still brown. Cool, 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 cool. Popping in to say I know that it does look red here upon reviewing this footage, but I can promise you in person it did not look this red and it was like very, very mousy brown. So just in case you're like, but Rachel, that is red. Trust me. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> if you listen close enough, you can hear all of the comments from enraged so-and-sos. <laughs> hmm. So I made another henna concoction. I had another box and I let it sit out overnight. I'm gonna do something even more um, outrageous and enraging. Going to try a box dye. Normally, I would let my hair settle a little bit more, but I have a newspaper reporter coming to talk to me, so I cannot be in the middle of a hair disaster when that happens. So, um, out of desperation, just I just want like a tint of orange before I do those pictures and interview. And then if that still isn't the red that I want, I might do henna one more time. I'm a mess. Okay, let's give this good old box dye a try. I, I truly look like that little niece in National Lampoon's like, Christmas. What the difference? It's the same picture. Let's give this box dye a try and hope that I burn all my hair off. Woo! <laughs> I feel like this entire video is just that TikTok song. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's me as a person, but especially when I'm doing my own hair. I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh, wild red. Please work. Guess we're gonna find out. Cross your fingers and your toes for me. It's brown. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Made it even more brown than it was. So, y'all. I don't honestly even know if I'm gonna try the henna. I have a feeling literally everything I'm doing is just piling on top of each other and making my hair darker. I feel like if I do the henna, it's either gonna do nothing or it's just gonna bring me to like black again. It's very Evelyn O'Connell right now, which is kind of nice. I don't know if I should just leave it like this and accept that I am not going to go back to red unless I go to a salon and or find someone that knows how to deal with henna. <sighs> you get what you get and you get upset and you cry a little and then you get over it. I had this whole plan of when my hair was more red to take like a cute little, you know, fall photo shoot. My hair is not red. <laughs> I am... This video is pointless. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you when I've made up my mind. I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> well, let's see, shall we? Aww. Aww. I am ashamed. I just, I made a full circle with my hair. And now it's just back to dark. I almost had it with that color lifter. Especially looking back at the footage, I was like, oh damn, that's like almost red. <laughs> to be fair, it was a little bit different in person. On camera, it looked a lot more red than it was, but it was still really, really light. And then like from there, I just got darker and darker and darker and just could not leave it alone. No, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Poking at it. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's as dark as it was when I first started, but 
it's pretty darn close. <laughs> Do I feel like this video is completely pointless? Absolutely. And honestly, when I was thinking about it last night, I was getting nervous and anxious about even publishing the video because I felt like it's just kind of a waste of time because I didn't really accomplish what I set out to accomplish. And so I feel kind of guilty wasting your time. But then I was like, you know what? Not everything I do is gonna work out. And I feel like maybe me uh, failing continuously was enough to entertain you. Are you not entertained? It is what it is. I, I gone done, fugged it up. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Now you know what not to do. I mean, it's still a pretty color, just like a very warm brown. I have yet to decide if I'm going to just accept this hair color for a while, or if I try that color lifter just one more time. Just, 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 just one more time. Regardless, I'm probably gonna leave it like this for at least a few days. I am basically the Toby to my hair's Michael Scott. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. It doesn't feel unhealthy or anything. It doesn't feel fried. Washing and drying and washing again and drying again and washing again is not good for my hair. So it definitely needs a little break, I think. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes hair be like that. I guess I just underestimated how henna was gonna work with things and how that box dye was then going to work with henna and the color lifter. Did not work how I thought it was going to. I just, everything I was doing just made it darker and darker. As I've heard the more you henna your hair, the darker it gets. I just thought that maybe it could penetrate the hair enough that it would decimate the hair dye that was on it, but that was not the case and it, it died, um, yep. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> It's exactly the same, so underwhelming, you're welcome for wasting your time. Definitely not the results and the not the video that I thought I was going to be putting out, but it happens. And we are going to start doing autumn crafts and sewing and stuff next week. I swear, so if you're still here. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here. Mm. Oh. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh my God. Oh, it smells like farts. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more here. Mm. Wah! So, time, time. Oh no. Bleh. Say you will, say you won't, say you'll do what I don't, say you will, say to me. Say love me!